Hey everybody, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Today's the terrorist run of Till Death Do Us Part. So get ready, and hang on to your undergarments. This is a level filled with guns, that means we need to be careful, or else we'll get our ashes shot off. Look at this dangerous son of a bitch. Okay. Oh, look at those barrels floating in the water. That's great. No wonder those alligators eat these guys so much. They're fucking pissed off. Oh, that guy's glitched. Um, I think I showed that glitch in the first Till Death Do Us Part video. You can shoot him all day long and he doesn't mind at all. Let's climb through this window. Why not? You know, they don't mind us shooting out in the open. They don't mind us uh, climbing through windows either. I'm gonna do a little trick shot. I did a trick shot for the last terrorist run video. I'm gonna do a trick shot for this one too. I'm gonna get a hillbilly in one. One shot. Nice. See that? Right through the window. Let's let's take a look where that landed. Yep, right out the window. You know, I didn't know bullets could do that. Uh, carry that kind of force, but you know, well, I guess they do. Oh, pistol ammo. Great. Oh, who's this handsome fellow? He has a similar, uh, a similar dress code as we do. It's a little reversed, though. You know, black shirt, white suit. I'd like to see that. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's kill this guy. Why not? Well, this game is about murder, after all. And, uh, uh-oh. Seems we've been spotted by someone. Oh, let's get the party started. You're dead, and you're dead. Ouch. Who was that? Oh, where'd you come from? I thought I got that guy. <laughs> Ugh, that spot in my back doesn't look too good. I better get out of here uh, before too many people find us and reveal who we are to the general public. <clears throat> you know, I did bring a special, special little something this level. Uh, you've seen it before, but it's been upgraded. I'm just trying to take a look at that spot on my back. Ouch. That looks like it was painful. Well, anyway. Uh, come to Papa. Nice. Customized shotgun. And we can walk it. We can walk around with it out in the open because no one cares. Everyone here loves guns. So let's uh, run behind this food tent and jump over the fence and uh, well, look and see what we can see. You know, I was able to sneak through this side of the house once before, using a certain tactic. Let's see if I can recreate that magic. Recreate that strategy, I should say. I'm gonna throw this mine in this window here. There we go. And, uh, that guy's standing up to check it out. But he won't have a chance to pick it up. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. He just reached down to pick it up. Let's see if we can... Oh. Fuck off, man. Oh. Shut up. Shut up. No. Oh. Yeah, that dog, uh... The dogs in this game have... Oh, shit. No. Oh, shit. Uh oh I think I bit off more than I could chew. Um... That ain't good. Oh, God. Look at all these hillbillies. Uh-oh. I'm fucked. Let's see if I can, let's see if I can score enough headshots to get out of this mess. There goes one. Oh. <laughs> I only got one. <laughs> no. You really don't want to be stuck in red mode or whatever they want to call it when you're using a shotgun, because even the customized shotgun is just far too slow. You know, if you want to come back from the dead, you got to get at least three headshots. They don't give you a lot of time to do it. All right, let's try that again. Only we'll be a little more subtle this time. Oh, what to do, what to do. So many options. Oh, Jesus, they already made me, seriously? Oh, man, that guy... Oh, shit. Yeah, I never forget a face I see on the TV. Oh, oh fuck, he's coming. Mr. Fucking Punisher himself coming for vigilante justice. Now let's run in here and hopefully the rest of the party won't see me take him down. 
You know what? I'm gonna disarm this guy. Hold on a second. Give me that, please. Thank you. And get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> That'll learn you. Now, I don't know if this guy, this drunken guy, uh, responds to dead bodies. So I'm gonna drag him over here and hopefully he won't notice it. Or, I don't know. Now, that guy, that guy that we just knocked out is the exact replica of the guy who's stumbling over here drunk. I mean, I think he's got the same outfit. Well, nobody seems to care. The only, the only clone people care about in this game is 47. All the other clones, you know, walking the streets and serving as security guards and, and uh, you know, f working at the fry later at McDonald's. Nobody cares about those clones. Die, you fucking bastard. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, yeah, the only clone anyone cares about is 47. Who's probably the least stupid clone. Let's reload this gun. And that dead gentleman on the floor was nice enough to lend us some of his ammo. So, uh-oh, people are running around, scared. You know what that means. Everyone's on lookout for a bald man in a nice suit. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, you gotta be careful. You gotta play this cool, because even though we're in a different outfit now, people, people in this game have a sixth sense, you know? Uh, it's a, this is a sixth sense. It's, it's really, it puts you at disadvantage in Hitman blood money. You know, I think the next game, Absolution, gives you some sort of instinct mode, some sort of detective mode. Uh, maybe that's what these guys have now. All these people, they just, they just know, you know? Uh, well, I'm gonna walk along here outside. I'm gonna ignore these guys, too. We don't want to get into a fight get discovered. Let's head up here, and... Oh, darn, the guards just came back. Now, if I had been a little bit faster... Well, maybe if I just run past them, they won't... They won't notice me. They won't notice anything's amiss. Okay, well, the, uh... The suspicion meter is going down. That's a good thing. And, uh... I'm gonna head over here into the main room, the piano room, the ballroom, whatever you want to call it. Not really sure. And, uh, oh. Who's this over here? This gentleman in black. There is the preacher. Good evening, Good evening to you, son. Hey there. I'm not being creepy at all. Hi there, father. Hey. Well, he's pleasant enough, but he's still gotta die because we need to steal his skin. Oh, what a lovely hostess. She's so great talking to her guests and stuff. All right. I'm gonna sneak. It says private, but we're gonna ignore that. I'm gonna sneak in here. And, uh, oh, darn. I think we've gotten spotted. Um, fella. Get out oh, hi. Yeah, fuck off. Okay, where was I? Uh, oh. Why do the people in Hitman do that? They kind of, like, here, they kind of turn a little bit. But their arms hang by their sides. They, like, turn their shoulder way back. It looks weird. Now, why do they all do that? Alright. Um, I'm definitely not going to go back there. You taught me a lesson, not. Alright, so we're heading back in here. And, hey, Father. Um, I got something I need to talk to you about. Uh, come over here, please. Thank you. Let me close that door. There we go. And I'm gonna cave your head in. Hiya! All right. Now, uh, let's take his outfit, shall we? Nice. Doesn't 47 look uh nice? Where's that? Where's that Bible? Where did that Bible go? Can't be a preacher without a Bible. Huh. Okay. Maybe we dropped it outside. Oh, there it is. Nice. And it disappears from the floor and appears in our hand. Now, doesn't, doesn't 47 look, uh, holy? Doesn't he look nice? You know, um... You know, I never noticed this before, but... Do preachers normally wear a cross on their chest? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I understand they have to do something to... To make it, uh... Make it clear that he's a man of God, but, um... I don't know. 
It's been a long time since I've been to church. Alright. Now, uh-oh. The threat meter's yellow. I hope that doesn't mean anything for us. Where's our target? Uh, we're gonna drop off this Bible first at the uh, gazebo, so we... Oh, fuck. God damn it. What? How did they know? How did... Did they find the body of the preacher? Ugh. Okay. You know what? Fuck this. Die. 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 You know, man with hat is right. This gun is awesome. Um, you know, when you upgrade it, you can just do so much damage. Bullet penetration, just take out a whole crowd. You got double magazines, like in Black Ops. Call of Duty Black Ops is one of my favorite games. Um, oh shit. Fuck you too, friend. Should I keep going or should I restart? Well, I was kind of planning on... No, not that, 47. The other gun. Thank you. Okay. Oh, nice. You know, I promised to, uh... <clears throat> I promised to... Oh, fuck you, friend. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. I, uh... I know I made a promise to do that wedding ceremony, and that's what I intend to do, so... Yeah, I'm gonna restart. No? Okay. Alright. Now... The problem with the terrorist run this, this level is that, uh... Well... Let's check out this guy's veins. Oh, God. Look at those veins. They're incredibly blue. There's like antifreeze running through your arms. That's creepy. Oh, it looks like you work out a lot. We do some roids, too. Oh, see you later. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, a terrorist run can get you killed very easily. Or you can hang out in that abandoned shack where the drunk guy goes to lay down. And you can have both targets run directly to you, so you can mow them down. That happens sometimes. Um, you know, we need this guy's invitation. Uh, I'm gonna cut ahead to that. So we don't have to wait. There we go. Um, alright. So we're heading inside. And no one suspects a thing. Nice. So, uh, first thing we gotta do is we gotta get a, a guard's outfit. A gang member's outfit. So we can kill Pappy LeBlanc in peace. Oh, hello, friend. I was looking for you. No, you don't have to be like that. You don't have to be like that. I. Oh, shit. Ow! Hey, don't fucking hit me. Fuck you, man. I'll hit you. How you like that, huh? You like that? Huh? You like getting pushed around? You like getting knocked out? Fuck you, man. Alright, come on, let's go to the bathroom. I'm gonna drag you into the bathroom like a two-year-old learning to use the toilet. And I'm gonna break your leg, too. Yeesh. Man, he's gonna have a hell of a stretch when he wakes up, isn't he? Okay, come on, come on. Gotta... God damn it. Okay. There. Oh, okay, there, is that, okay, good. All right, let's take his outfit, nice. Don't we look snazzy? I really like this one. I don't like the one where, he's, where he wears a baseball cap. This looks fucking stupid. Uh, but the one with the cowboy hat's pretty cool. So, I don't know why I picked this shotgun up, and we're not gonna, not gonna use it, I don't think. And, oh. But before we do that, we gotta take out the pastor. We don't want him to, uh... Oh, who's this gentleman here? Hmm. Um... Right, here he comes. We don't want him to start the wedding ceremony before we're ready. So we gotta make sure that, uh... You know, he can't do that. And unfortunately, he can't be alive. Um, if, if we... Oh, what's he doing over there? What are you doing, Padre? Oh... Oh my, he's got booze in his, in his... Oh man, this guy's got a problem, huh? Oh! I guess it's kind of funny that he's hiding alcohol in his Bible, but... I mean, doesn't this guy have pockets? Can't he just, you know, sneak the flask out of his pocket and then sip it? You know, can he, can he do that? I don't know. Well, we're gonna leave him here. Um... And we're gonna head out. 
And we'll come back for him when we're ready. Let's head out this door here. Ooh. Ooh. Excuse me. <laughs> Let's head out here. And uh, Mr. Pappy LeBlanc, I'm sure, is over there feeding the gators and crying over his uh, dead friend or whoever the hell he is. I'm going to run over there. And uh, I was thinking about taking this guy out, the guy, the other gang member, but... I'm sure he won't notice, so let's uh, let's get rid of this shotgun. I never really need it anyway. And uh, let's get the shovel. They was listening to everything, seeing everything. Got them cameras all the time. You wouldn't listen. Now, now I got to stay here and talk to you, cold dead body on a six feet of missus. All right, and he's dead as a doornail once again. <laughs> Oh boy, what a way to go. Alright. Let's uh, head back. And we can start the wedding ceremony. Start the wedding ceremony there. Um, we gotta make sure that we don't show our face to people too closely. Um, I don't know where I was going with that. Alright, let's, uh, let's go get that uh, preacher's clothes. For a second time, and uh, this time, hopefully, no one will discover who we really are. Let's head over here, and uh, let's go in here. This gets changed. All right. Let's get the boat key too. That's actually an alternate exit. The boat key. I'll take this. Um, it's not easy to escape with a boat when you're not wearing a proper outfit. So. I don't know, it's not really the ideal exit for when you're doing a silent assassin run, but this is the terrorist run. So let's ring the bell, because that's what we got to do. Okay, and press it, and press it. Oh, wow. Oh, that Bible's just so damn heavy, 47 had to drop it on the floor in order to press a button. Alright, um, that should get people coming to the wedding. So let's, uh, let's mosey back in. Hopefully these guys won't recognize who we are. Alright. You know, um... Heard some slightly disturbing news today. Uh, I heard that Absolution, the next Hitman game, uh, might, might suck. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Let's hope whatever is going on doesn't affect us before we make our kill. So let's head over here to the gazebo and, uh, and get ready to marry these two young uh, star-crossed lovers. And here's Mr. Stupid himself. How do, Padre? Ah, yes. Hello. How are you, my son? Go with God. Oh, you look so fucking stupid. What is up with that tuxedo? Where'd you get that, anyway? You know, I bet that tuxedo was white, but then, like, he washed it with his pink, with his, like, red shirt or something like that. And he just said, well, I think it looks cool. Oh, look at 47. He's like, I can't believe I have to do this shit. Yeah, dude, uh, yeah hi. You already said that. What are you, shy? What are you looking at the floor for? You're supposed to look at someone in the eye when you're talking to him. It's like an army commercial where the guy shows up, um, the son shows up and... And the father's like, oh, he, he shook my hand and looked me in the eye. He's never done that before. Well, you know what? You were a shitty father. What? Stop saying that. I don't even know where I was going with that last uh, ramble. Oh. Let's... Okay, motherfuckers. You ready to get married or what? Let's do this thing. We're gathered here today to see these two joined in matrimony. Margot LeBlanc. Do you take this man as your husband? I do. Hank Leach. Do you take this woman as your wife? Hell yeah! Then, I pronounce you married. yeah -haw! Now I'm gonna kiss me my bride. <laughs> what a lovely couple. Well, I think 47 skipped a few words there. Well, that's okay. Still sounded pretty good. It's better than that drunken asshole uh, the priest is, right? And, uh, yeah, they sure are shooting. Now, you know what I've discovered is that Margot LeBlanc's actually pretty happy when you kill him at this particular instance. Um, as you'll soon see. 
See, she's watching him. She's watching him die. She doesn't give a fuck at all. Well, I'm glad you like it. See you later. <laughs> Whew, finally. Well, that's something else. Um, so now we're going to take the boat out. Nice and easy. Yep. Hitman Blood Money. Playing a game over and over and over. Oh, Bobo Cola. That's a shitload of Bobo Cola. Yeah, how do, how do. Alright. Um, oh, and here's the boat. I wonder if there's a special cutscene for if we take the boat out. Hmm. And, what? No, no cutscene? No cutscene to take the boat? That's kind of lame. I mean, when we took the helicopter from the Playboy Mansion, we got we got one, but not not today. That's kind of, yeah, kind of a little disappointing. And, uh, oh, what's that? What's with that rating? The ghost? That's, that's not right. Uh, this was supposed to be the terrorist run, wasn't it? Oh. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I, I I feel like I let you down. Uh, I mean, I got one square for noise and one Jolly Roger for violence. That's not right. But let's let's do something else. Let's, let's stir some shit up, huh? Let's let's get the shotgun right here and uh, let's make these motherfuckers pay. Well, uh, oh, you don't you don't want me dancing, huh? Is that it? You don't want me to fucking dance? Well, why don't you dance? Dance to your graves. Dance to your fucking graves. Alright. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, you want some too, huh? Eat this. Eat it. Oh, you're not ready for this shotgun. Yeah. Oh, fuck you, man. Oh. Oh, buddy, you can't stop me. You can't fucking stop me. And, yep, yep. Oh, really? You're gonna, you're gonna use that pea shooter on me? Is that it? Is that the plan? Give me that shit. Fuck off. No, oh, that's it. You better run. Take this shit back. Oh, oh, really? You're gonna put, you're gonna try to shoot me again, huh? I don't think so. I'm Nick Meister, and I'll see you next time.